Hey, I'm Randy, and I'm the Cheap Audio Man. Thanks for coming to watch this. Here at the Cheap Audio Man, we don't feel that audio equipment should cost more than 10 sets of a full Encyclopedia Britannica set. I don't even know if those are still sold. Back when I was growing up, they were very expensive. And that's how we did research in the Encyclopedia Britannica instead of the uh, internet, which is useful for research entertainment and sending electronic mail so today it's saturday speaker shootout we're talking about the paradigm monitor se atom versus the emotiva air motive b1 plus it's gonna be a nice little battle today like action figures like gi joe action figures like cobra and gi joe going at it with no projectile weapons, just like axes and stuff. Maybe a baseball bat or shillelagh. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about Saturday Speaker Shootout, Emotiva Air Motive B1 Plus versus the Paradigm Monitor SE Atom. Whew. That was a mouthful. It sure was. Saying all that very fast and with enthusiasm. Oh gosh, got it on my nose. All right. Yeah. It's gonna be ruined now. I ruined it. We'll have to do multiple takes. Just kidding, we're not doing multiple takes. Today's sponsor. Hold on, I don't remember it. I'm gonna have to think about it for a second. Wild Jacks, Simeon statues. We smelt them, we cast them, we buff them, and we make them pretty for you. For all your monkey, mini monkey statue needs. We've been doing it for a long time. And it's at a fair price. That was probably the worst sponsor spot I've ever had. My apologies. Okay, so today I really got it good. There's a significant amount of coffee on my notebook. Um, uh, so what are we talking about? These are both, I think, great speakers to compare. Number one, because uh, they're in the same price range, uh, 238 currently on Amazon, uh, 230 currently from the Emotiva website, because this is a direct-to-consumer brand. Okay, both five and a quarter inch woofers, um, ribbon tweeter versus aluminum dome tweeter. Many would say that those have, or that aluminum metal dome tweeters have a more exciting sound lively on the top end and i would tend to agree so it's a good comparison because we have a ribbon tweeter aluminum tweeter same price okay this comes in black matte or very shiny ivory finish this comes in any color you want as long as it's black with a fake leather wrap okay all right so Let's talk about soundstage and imaging. So what I did was I listened to these, reacquainted myself with them, and then I A-B'd them on the same song. And we're gonna go through song by song, which speaker I think did a better job, or if they did a similar job. So I used Chocolate Chip Trip by Tool. Very good song to test imaging, all right? They're both a tie. They did an excellent job. There's an awful lot going on between the speakers on that song, especially in the drum solo. Well, pretty much all, all the song is an imaging masterpiece. masterpiece. Uh, soundstage, again, I gave um, them both a check. Wherever I may roam. There's a little bit of a nod to the, the B1 Plus for soundstaging. 
the B1 went a bit wider on wherever I may roam at the beginning, <clears throat> the end of the um, kind of the intro part kind of came way right, a little bit way, way right than the paradigm. The vertical imaging though goes to the paradigm. The Emotiva has a very good lateral imaging and you can tell just simply by looking at the the tweeter design. It doesn't have like the, if you think about it as a mini horn, it just goes out to the side. It doesn't really go up or down. Really decent vertical imaging on this and uh, off axis performance. That's really what I should have said. Okay. Very full. Let's talk about bass. Well, first let's talk about what they're rated at. This one's rated down to 61. This one's rated down to 48. However, there is a, what would be considered a, an in-room response or typical in-room response. It's called DIN. And that's, it's some German thing, Deutsch industrial new something or other it's a fancy word for saying this is what you're probably going to get in a typical room and that's uh like 45 okay however there's a difference uh intergalactic beastie boys very low in the bass um great way to test your speakers too because even though a speaker may not be spec down to 45 hertz or whatever it is, it still should give you an idea of the gigantic nature of how much bass there is in that song. And the Emotiva did it better. It just did. Still good. Not as good as the Emotiva. Oh, um, Killing Strangers. Another good bassy song. Marilyn Manson. Um, it's a tie. That was a tie. Intergalactic goes to the Emotiva, and then uh, Killing Strangers. Goes to both. Let's talk about mid-range. Patience, uh, the Chris Cornell cover of the Guns N' Roses classic. Sounded very good on both. Um, with an asterisk, and the asterisk meant that the Emotiva did it ever so slightly better. And the reason why I say that is because I could hear the vibrato and slight reverb in Mr. Cornell, God rest his soul, on the Emotiva. Slightly. Slightly. They both sounded very good. Okay? Okay. Slightly went to uh, the Emotiva. Shoot to Thrill, both of them did a great job. That song's very difficult. The initial guitar sounds a bit stepped back, coming from the right speaker, should still sound crunchy and yet full at the same time. Oftentimes speakers, uh, that will sound m veiled. Not muffled, but veiled. Not on these, these did it great. Uh, snare hits on Sad But True. Uh, by Metallica, Emotiva did it better. It just, you could still hear it. It just sounded so much more realistic on the Emotiva. Okay. Let's talk about Trouble. Getting my coffee all up in my mustache. Uninvited uh, by... Alanis Morissette off the MTV Unplugged. I use that because at the beginning there's a piano um, in the all the way up on the top and I want to hear if it sounds in the room. I want to hear if it sounds like super accurate like a piano would sound if somebody was playing it. They both did a good job. I also listen to that song for air. I love the MTV TV unplugged records because it's recorded at a performance. It's recorded, you know, they're not mixing. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're still mixing it, but it's recorded in a space. It, everything's recorded in a space. I know that, but it's recorded at the performance. I don't know if that's making any sense. 
Anyway, I can hear a lot of air on MTV Unplugged Records if the speaker can do it. Both of these did it quite well. Okay. Uh, sad but true. I don't know why I have that in the highest. Oh, the cymbals. Uh, that record is recorded uh, quite punchy and then quite sparkly on the top. If you have too bright of a speaker, um, the cymbals will be like short. You won't hear decay, which is a both of these did a good job. And that's the thing I was super surprised about on both of these speakers is I thought they were just going to be maybe too bright. But no, they're exciting, but yet they're not too bright. They're well balanced. Well balanced. Uh, Lazaretto by Jack White, not Jack Black, which I said in some previous videos. Lazaretto, 11 seconds in. There's this fun little electronic noise that's quite high in the frequency. And something similar to that. Well, they both did it well. The, the Emo Tiva really crushed it. Just the reverb, the detail, the, I don't know, tactile nature of it was very much more present in the Emotiva. Mm -hmm. Air on MTV Unplugged, the Nirvana record, Dumb. Very good on both. Very good on both. What are my final thoughts? These are both excellent speakers. Um, if I could only choose one, it would be the Emotiva. However, I know the Emotiva is somewhat challenging to get at a fair price um, outside of probably North America. I, f I feel like the Paradigm is a good alternative. I feel like the Paradigm is an excellent speaker. And it surprised me. And it has a bunch of cool science going on in their aluminum dome with some design phase corrections. At the end of the day, though, I just think the Emotiva is, is better. It's better. And it has mostly, if not everything, to do with, I believe, their rib ribbon tweeter and their cross... Uh, their... Uh, Filter integration. Can't think this morning. A lot of stuff going on at the Cam household over the last few days with Santa Claus. It's been very challenging. Crossover. Man. I need more coffee. Funny thing about this mug is I've had this for like a month or six weeks. And I was drinking out of it. And I looked down and I could see like, ooh, what is that? It looks like plastic. It was the tape left over from when it was wrapped up in newspaper and I've been drinking out of it for like three weeks and it wasn't just a strip of tape there was four strips of tape that I peeled out of there good thing it wasn't toxic maybe it was toxic but I made it through anyway I was drinking coffee out of a mug that had scotch tape in it I'm not going to drink it because then people will get mad at me anyway I think the emotive is better and not really insignificantly better. I think most, if not everybody, that sat down and AB'd these would be able to hear a definitive difference. Extra detail. Extra vision into the music. It's a very good speaker. The Emotiva really is starting to become... I've had these out in the living room for probably the last month. And I haven't listened to them critically or in um, near field for a while. And when I was getting ready to do this review, this comparison, I just was shocked again how good these really are. And there is some, some obvious design cues that you may like or you may not like. But if you watched my review of this and my analogies about what Tracy Chapman did to me while I was listening to these speakers. I 
I stand 100% behind everything I, I said in that video. It's extraordinary. So this is an excellent speaker. This is just an extraordinary speaker. And one that I, I think this, this speaker, regardless of price, is probably the most crystalline and the most detailed of any speaker that I've heard. And I wish that they would make a six and a half inch woofer version of this but almost you don't even need it because it still goes down to 48 it's small it's easy to move around you may have some placement issues with it because it is so much smaller than a you know traditionally sized bookshelf you may have to get some some books or something to set it on to get that treble up to the tweeter up to ear level but you really even with a slight vertical delta between your ear and the tweeter placement, I found it to be almost better. I'm a little sensitive to treble. Anyway, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I don't think you can go wrong either way, and I think this is a great alternative if you can't get the Emotiva where you're at. I just think the Emotiva is better. And you can hear it. Listen to my test tracks. Test tracks are linked in the description. If you want to try Amazon HD music for free and you're in the U.S. or Canada, there's a free trial. Like, I think it's still three months. However, one of you fine people in the comments just told me that the Metallica catalog is now available, available on Tidal. And I also have a, um, a streamer that a company actually sent me. I didn't have to go out and buy it. Anyway, that integrates title pretty well. So I think I'm going to sign up for a free, a free uh, trial of title. Give it a shot. We'll see. Another thing, if you're, I, I love how quickly the channel is growing, and I love all the participation. But if you disagree with somebody or myself, and please disagree with me, I'm no expert. I just hear what I hear. But I give you reasons why I hear, and I give you places in the songs, things to listen for. But ultimately, the decision is yours about what you think is right. And if you disagree with me and think I'm off my rocker, please let me know. I would say, though, if you could, give me reasons why you think it is. Give me spe specifics. Making broad statements about this speaker is bad, or this speaker is good, or this speaker is so much better than that speaker... I'm great. I'm glad that you, you feel that way. Let's just hear some specifics about why you do. And then let's hear, you know, your experience with a being it to other speakers. And I don't expect that you a beat it with the speaker I did. But just, just let me know what you've compared it to. And let's have a, let's have a reasonable discussion. And let's not be emotional. You can still be emotional. But if the, I have, I've, I've deleted a couple of comments simply because... I didn't see any value in them being there. Okay? Sorry. Also, I have a Patreon. Um, a lot of patrons, and I really appreciate that. And we are going to start doing a, a patron-only uh, web chat or Zoom meeting or something like that so we can all get to know each other. Um, we can ask some questions in there. I also do live streams, but... The patrons are going to basically be a, a smaller group of that and be able to ask any questions they want and really even maybe start a community where we could, um, you know, buy, sell, trade gear that, you know, we, we may be moving on from so we can bring in some more stuff. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I love speaker, Saturday Speaker Shootout. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, go listen to some music, binge listen, and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.